What is up, guys? This is Zach here with my WWE SummerSlam 2011 pay per view review. Um, <laughs> overall, great, great show from WWE with a very, very confusing ending. So, without a doubt, let's get to the show. You can open up the show. You had some random dude, I don't know who it was, playing the national anthem on the guitar, which was very, very sick. It was very, very cool. I'll tell you the truth, very, very cool. And there on, you go into a match that was not announced on the card, but just happened a six man tag team match. The Miz, Alberto Del Rio, and R Truth versus John Morrison, Kofi Kingston, and Rey Mysterio. Overall, very, very fun opener. Very, very enjoyable. Uh, great back and forth action from both teams. A lot of tags in and out. A lot of high flying from, you know, Mysterio, Morrison. You know, very, very good stuff. At the end, you know, um, uh, Mysterio had Miz and Truth set up for the. Uh, 619, but he went for 619, but Del Rio swept his feet, and then, you know, Kingston just jumped on Del Rio, went for 619, Miz jumped out of the way, Mysterio hit it on R-Truth, but Morrison attacked Miz, so Miz couldn't, like, sweep his legs off the canvas, Mysterio does a splash, 1, 2, 3, uh, Ray Mysterio wins it for his team, like I said, very, very good opener, very, very enjoyable. Uh, next match we had was the, uh, what was the next match? Oh, Sheamus versus Mark Henry. For what it was, very, very good match, to tell you guys the truth. This was very, very easy to sit through. It was very, very good. Um, Sheamus did end up losing via countout when Mark Henry, you know, just took him and started ramming him into the ring post. And he ran him through the freaking guardrail. Or not guardrail, what the hell is it called? Uh, whatever, I think it's guardrail. Or, you know. Uh, through that and just went through it and freaking it was a great great spot very very cool and you know Mark Henry got in the ring and Sheamus tried to get in the ring but wasn't in time so your winner would be a count out Mark Henry which was eh. like I said very very good match well you have Punk backstage being interviewed not interviewed but oh John Laronitis and Punk talking Mr. Laronitis you know him and Steve Breaching to have an argument. You know, breaches from Mania and Laronitis would be epic. He wins me off track. Laronitis leaves. Punk turns around. Stephanie McMahon is there, looking good as ever. And she, she pushes Punk luck. She goes for a handshake. Punk goes, I don't want to touch your hand. I know where that's been, which was hilarious, by the way. Walks off. You go to the Divas match. Divas Champs match. Uh, Kelly Kelly versus Beth Phoenix. Uh, very good match for Divas match for was worth my opinion. This was actually pretty good. Kelly Kelly actually tried, <laughs> but uh, not hard enough. At the end, um, uh, Kelly Kelly did end up retaining Divas title when Best Fiends went for, the, went for the Grand Slam, not Grand Slam, Glam Slam, whatever she calls it. But when she went down, Kelly Kelly like rolled her up and got the one, two, three, and you know retained the Divas title. Nothing special. I'm predicting Beth gets the title and Night of Champion. So. Whatever. From there we go on to uh, Dana Bryan versus Wade Barrett. Uh, very, very good match. This was, uh, you know, I'll admit it started off kind of boring. You know, I wasn't really into the match, but I'd say probably towards the last six minutes I really started getting into the match, and it was a very, very good match. It was just a really counterish match. You know, they kept countering counters. You know, it was very, very cool. Uh, you know, Barrett went for the wasteland, but, you know, Brian switched into that submission hold where he, like, has him, like, I don't know, like a bear, I don't know what the hell the submission's called. Then he puts it into a little bell lock, and then, you know, but Barrett got the ropes, and, uh, you know, Barrett went for wasteland again, but, you know, Punk, not Punk, Brian hitting those elbows, and got him down. Then Barrett's on the ropes, and, you know, Punk, not Punk, I keep saying Punk for, Brian went for something off the ropes, but didn't connect with it. Bear just like throws him on the ropes and does what um does a, like a clothesline onto the ropes and you know Brian just does like a flip and then Bear gives Brian the wasteland the one two three Wade Barrett's your winner which is stupid in my opinion uh, having Barrett winning basically just showed that uh, uh, Dan O'Brien winning went in the bank was a huge fluke so that wasn't a good decision but whatever. I'm thinking of Dana Bryan got to fix his picture. It's crooked. <laughs> um, there we have uh, Stephanie McMahon leaving John Cena's locker room backstage. Whatever. Then we're going to the no hold barred match for the World of Championship. Christopher versus Randy Orton. Um, 
you know, Christian comes out, cuts a promo saying that here's a secret weapon. Edge comes out, mark out moment. Edge is like, you know, Christian, uh, ever since you won that world title, I feel like I passed the, passed the torch for, to me to you. But ever since you won it, you look like a complete bitch. That's what he said. And, you know, he leaves Christian alone through the, the face order for the world title. World title match, great match. Great back and forth action. So many spots. They used a lot of weapons. It was great. Uh, you know, they had Christian going through tables. You had freaking suplexes on the tables. You had freaking uh, a bunch of kendo stick shots. You had, uh, you know, Christian trying to RKO Orton on the announce table. Orton turns it into his own RKO. Christian goes right to the table. It was just a great, great match, guys. You have to see it to believe it. It was great. But, um, you know, at the end of the match, uh, at this point, there's plenty of weapons in the match. There's, like, tables, there's cans, there's kendo sticks, chairs, a lot of weapons in the ma in the ring right now. And Orton just beat the hell out of Christian literally the last five minutes. Christian literally almost had no offense the last five minutes. But uh, Orton goes for uh, DDT's Christian onto the trash can, which was sick. You know, and, you know, Orton's going for the finish. He's going to give Christian the RKO on, but, uh, you know, Christian reverses the RKO under the kill switch. It's going back and forth. It's a crazy, crazy match. And then, um, Orton goes for the RKO under the steps. Christian counters, kicks Orton. He does the same exact, they do the same exact finish they had in the first world title match when Orton won the title from Christian, but he does the RKO under the steel steps. I think it's the one, two, three. Randy Orton's your new World Heavyweight Champion. Sick ending. Very, very disappointed that they uh, gave the title to uh, Randy Orton again. Uh, you know, this makes me feel that this whole storyline was pointless. And if you're gonna have a storyline and you give someone the title and you have them lose it right when they win it, basically it's a pointless storyline in my opinion. But nevertheless, great, great match. Their best match they've had yet. And. Uh, you know, like I said, at Night of Champions, I really want to see a four-way match. Well, I didn't say that in this video. I say it on Twitter, I really want to see a four-way match with uh, Christian Orton, uh, Sheamus and Mark Henry now. You know, because Sheamus lost by a count to Mark Henry. So I want to see a four-way at Night of Champions, and I want to see Orton versus Christian one last time at Hell in a Cell. So, that's going to be good. From there on... We go backstage at Triple H, Stephanie McMahon talking, Triple H leaves. Leads, this leads to the main event, undisputed WWE Championship match. CM Punk vs. John Cena with special referee Triple H. A uh, great match. Not Wasn't as good as a Money to Think match, but it was still a very, very good, good, good back and forth match. Uh, you know, uh, a lot of near falls, a lot of counters, a lot of sick stuff. I actually saw John Cena do a move for the very first time, which I've never seen him do. I forgot what it was, though. I thought it was a side scoop slam. You know, he did, like, freaking how Barrett does it, dude. It was... I've never seen Cena do that before. But it was, like I said, it was a great back-and-forth action match. They did a lot of things they did in their Money in the Bank match. But, like I said, it was still a great match. Uh, the ending came when, um... John Cena had, uh... Punk in the attitude adjustment, gave him the attitude adjustment... Punk kicked out, and they started putting every, each other in submissions, like Punk put him in the end kind of vice, Cena put him in the SDF, Punk put him in some other random submission, uh, Cena put him in the SDF again, Punk puts him in another submission, Cena puts him in the cross face, yes, the cross face, and, you know, it's going back and forth, and, you know, Cena Punk eventually gives him the hot, the GTS, kicks out, uh, I think he gives him a kick, I'm not sure what he gave him, and then, I'm not sure if he gave him a stiff kick, or, you know, a high knee, and then gives him a GTS for the one last time, which, by the way, that GTS sucked. It, like, hit him in the gut or something like that. And, uh, one, two, three, but... Seeing his foe is on the bottom rope, but Triple H counts to one, two, three. Uh, Punk is your new Undisputed Champion. You know, after the match, Cena tried to tell Triple H, Yo, man, my foe is on the rope, and Triple H like, Ah, dude, I didn't see it, you know? And Punk, Cena was like, whatever. Cena just walked to the back. Punk was your new Undisputed Champion. Triple H said, Punk, come here. Raised Punk's hand. Say congratulations, Punk. Uh, Triple H walked out. Punk's in the ring celebrating. All of a sudden, the confusion comes. Kevin Nash, out of nowhere, comes out and gives CM Punk the power bomb. This is I'm like, what the fuck's going on? I'm confused out of my mind. Uh, Triple H runs back down. Like, what the hell do you think you're doing, man? Kevin Nash runs off. Then uh, Alberto Del Rio comes out. 
he says, let's do this. I know the referee's in the ring, rings the bell. Del Rio gives Punk, you know, into Gary. One, two, three. Barto Del Rio is your new WWE champion. And Triple H is like, what the hell just what happened? You know, Triple H acts confused. He even asked that other referee that came down. Del Rio's like, yo, what the hell are you doing? You know, but uh, Barto Del Rio is your new WWE champion. Del Rio's like, yes, I'm champion, I'm champion. And uh, Punk was knocked out in the ring. And, um, you know, just this pay-per-view had me really, really confused by what the hell they're doing. I mean, bringing Kevin Nash out of all people into the storyline was just very, very random. But I don't know what they're doing with this. I don't know what the hell, the kind of direction they're going to head with this. But anyways, nevertheless, SummerSlam, great pay-per-view. I don't know what anyone thinks of this year, WWE, but WWE 2011 has been a great year. Great television, great pay-per-views. Besides, you know, two of them was, you know, sucked. And, you know, they had one good pay-per-view. But besides that, every pay-per-view so far has been great to amazing. So kudos to WWE for a great year so far. And, um, you know, I don't know how long this review is. How long is this review exactly? 11 minutes, so that's, that's good. But anyways, my review, guys. Uh, SummerSlam, great pay-per-view. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm Zach, and I'm out, guys. Thanks for watching.